thing is, if you're if you're gonna if you're in America at the moment when this is going out and and um, it's actually your birthday on Sunday, but you're going on Monday. Well, so Sunday is what tomorrow? So much Sunday's tomorrow, and this is not Sunday. This is the day before Sunday, but it's your birthday on Sunday. But you're actually in America I'm at the a... moment as people are watching this, but it's still live TV. How does that work? <laughs> is that I've quantum th- physics? I've, I've been thinking about this, Trevor, and I think what happens is is that you have somehow because we know how clever you are. I oh, know I am. Right, so we, you've somehow managed to actually. Configure a, a sort of uh, you try to try and a time warp, find, yeah, wormhole. Uh, you've ripped the fabric of space as we know it, and you've managed to actually uh, bend time to your will. Did I tell you, you think, that last you week I bought a, I bought a second hand TARDIS? Did I tell you that? No, you didn't. Second hand. <laughs> <laughs> what colour was it? What we, racing what? stripes. It, it, it's race. It's, it's English racing green. green. Are we on. Oh, blimey, is that auto on then again? That's the auto is, on. Is, yeah, is, the, is the red button on? No, yeah, the red button's on. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, everyone, and welcome to... Um, what? Uh, welcome to uh, Beer Sweden Television, because it really is television, isn't it, Trevor? IPA's dead? What's that mean? IPA's dead. I don't want to talk about that. That's not what we're talking about today. Oh, cos... That's not coming out for months, is it? I you know, like, you remember when you were at school, you used to do that, and sort of like, you know, <laughs> you sort of do... Uh, I've been doing that. <laughs> Look, but IPA's dead. Um, no, but that's nothing. That's, a, that's another day. Uh, coming out in in, uh, in June, June, July. What's well, coming out a little bit earlier? So you know we like to uh, get our hands on beers first, don't we, Trev? Makes us happy. Of course. Uh, and uh, really, um, we've got every reason to be happy today because look, we also happen to have in our grubby little mittens a bottle of this. You know what this is, Trev? Of course you know what it is. We've been talking about it, haven't we? Abstract Five. Abstract 5 is the fifth in the uh, series of experimental brews from Brewdog. Uh, Abstract 1, I'm going to do a little recap actually, Trev, see if we can do it. Abstract 1 was a vanilla, but in fact I've cheated because I've written it down. You should have said that because I can't actually see the notes on the table. Yeah, you could have sort of like I mean, casually looked down. Gonna, people are going to get the fact that I keep looking over here like this. Like. Abstract 1 was a vanilla bean infused Belgian quad at 10.2%. I remember that, remember we did that? that, didn't we? We did that, we did that one. Did that one, did the first one. Uh, the second one, abstract two, was triple uh, dried hopped Imperial Red Ale at 18%. We did that one too, Trev. Uh, abstract three was an Imperial aged um, ale, uh, which was uh, aged for two years in whiskey casks, and then they slammed a load of raspberries and strawberries into it. Now that one, I tried uh, in Stockholm at the, at the Brewdog tasting. Sounds horrible. Yeah, I wasn't so keen on that one, to be honest with you. Uh, a little bit of oxidisation, I think, had gone on it. It was a little bit flat. I mean, there's lots of raspberries and stuff like that. That was interesting, but it wasn't really fantastic. By the way, Trev, this is a smash and grab episode, OK? Do this in, like, in five minutes, yeah? Um, abstract four, the last one that I tried, was awesome. OK, that was an Imperial Stout brewed with coffee, and I'm talking quite a bit of it. Uh, cocoa, and I'm talking lots of that. Uh, and one, that, one of those little Naga chilies, you know, one of those ones that basically you only need one in like 30,000 million litres of liquid and it still burns your mouth. Are they very prolific? Or, uh, when did the first one come out? Uh, the first one came out, oh, bloody Trev, I don't know, actually, six months ago, eight months ago. Yeah, they're very prolific like then, aren't they? Yeah, they'd be re- I mean, it's, it's, been a, it's been a fantastic Consider it theme-based. Yeah, exactly, clever stuff. Um, they've been, obviously been thinking about these things mm. well in advance, you know, with ageing going on and everything. Uh, abstract 5, that was 15%, by the way, the last one. Abstract 5, this one, this little beauty here, which I have to say is one of the first bottles in the country. Literally, it was still warm when it came off the boat and I got my hands on it. Fantastic. Got it in Stockholm uh, a few days ago. Uh, this is a Belgium Imperial Stout aged on toasted coconut. Jeff? <laughs> Trev's face like, what? Coasted, coasted coconut. What's a coasted coconut, Trev? A, co- co- a toasted coconut. Co- 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 yeah. Uh, and cocoa. Uh, and this is a very mild uh, 12.5%. Got it? That's the whole abstract. We've done a whole round up. Now, listen, I know from past experience of opening these things, they are a bugger. They go, get open. They go, they don't no, go boom, it's not that they explode. It's just that these little sort of, you know, they've got one of these sort of plastic cork things, yeah? And why is that you know, synthetic, whatever it is. Why? Well, I don't know. I'm not quite sure, really. But i tell you what, I bet you, I'm strong as an ox. You know that, don't you? I'm, I'm, I'm as strong as an ox. Yes, Darren, you are... What's this? I'm like, strong as an ox. I'm like Superman, you know. Go on, then. I'm known for my. And what's your kryptonite? A bottle of that. Muscularity. You know? <laughs> but I can't do it. You have a go. No, I ain't strong. You mate. can't do it. Right. Okay. Well, this, Go on, is, what look. I, this is what I bought. You, you try. This is what I bought this out for. Look. No, this is going nowhere. It's going nowhere. Isn't it? I mean, it's seriously. Oh, I've actually got it in. Ah, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Right. 
So what we're going to what we're going to try and do? Are you talking amongst yourselves, Jeff? Well, let's talk to neighbour. Talk to. Neighbor. Talk to <laughs> she, she's scotting the snow. Scotting the snow. Here we go. Look. Let's see if this works. It'll be worth it, everyone. I'm sure. Because these types of beers hey. are fantastic. There you Pop. go. See. Tell you what, Trev, up here for thinking, right? Down here for dancing. Why do they do? Why do they do the bottles like that? Uh, I'm not sure, really. I mean, obviously, the, the look of the bottle, minimalistic, you know, sort of half champagne bottle size, corked. It's all part of the kind of, you know, the. the it's just the image, then. The, the image and the sort of vibe of the whole thing. Okay. It's supposed to be a little bit groundbreaking, a little bit different, you know. Mm, okay. And it's great. I love it. Okay. Whew. Now after that, let's pour it up. See what we've got. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Great. Blimey, look at that. Me. Look, Hold the glass up. Look at that. Now, you know, it was St. Patrick's Day recently, Trev. Yeah? Mm. And, they, and, you know, and Guinness keep going on about this cascade effect. Well, look at that. I don't think you're going to get a much better head action on a beer than that. Absolutely beautiful, mesmerizing stuff. What do you think? It's nice. Now, listen. No, just have a quick whiff. Of course you can. I can smell it from here, it's absolutely mm. amazing, isn't it? Mm. Did you have a little sip as well? I might do later. Okay. Anyway, listen, uh, it may be abstract, but it's still worth giving it a whirl, definitely. Although It's, it's yeah, not too posh then. This is one of the, no, no, it's never too posh to give it a whirl. Uh, is this one of those beers, Trev, that is just, it's one of those slow motion beers again, you know? It's like, sort of, it just sticks, and basically, mm. it's, it, it's... That is very attractive. It is, it is stunningly attractive beer. And the, the nose on this thing, um, now coconut, I don't know about you, but coconut's not one of my favourite things. No, that's why I pull the face. You know what I mean? Coconut is not one of my favourite flavours, I have to say. So I'm saying that before I, I try. But I'm smelling absolutely no coconut whatsoever. No, I didn't notice that. I was expecting a smack in the face. No? I'm getting loads of lovely chocolate action, and I'm, and I'm really, you know, like that really posh Belgium chocolate, you know, that all sort of, you know, breaks up and crumbles. Quite dark, bitter, um, sort of, and a very nice sweetness, uh, almost like um, uh, dates, dates, you know, those mm. really, really intense, concentrated... What were you at Christmas in England? Exactly, exactly, exactly. Sticky. Sticky. Molasses and all that sort of stuff that you would associate generally with a with an imperial stout, and the fruitiness is probably the Belgian you know side of the of the beer here because remember this is a Belgian. It's Kate and Willie. Kate and Willie. They're falling out I'm already. Bit, I'm getting a bit <laughs> falling off, <laughs> falling off the bound. I can't wait, bit, me. You, I can't wait. You, I'm getting a little bit bored with it now, to be honest. No, I'm not. I can't wait. Can I wait? love. All, I, I remember watching Diana's. It was brilliant. Have, have you got the um, invite yet, by the way? No, but I bought the mug and I bought the doily. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that'll get us in. Okay, so because it's got this Belgium element, I'm presuming it's got Belgium yeast in it, of course. So you're going to get that little bit of sort of fruitiness, you know, that you you, you often associate with, with Belgian beers. And then they're throwing that obviously into an imperial style. Weird, uh, you know, obviously, but that's the point. That's the whole po point of abstract. I'm going to try some trip. Mmm. Sweet. Wow. Good. Oh. Uh, it's, it's like a dessert beer. I can't think of anything other to say than it's kind of like, it is immensely sweet. Um, I feel like I've got to go to the dentist now, just for my mouth or mm. two other. It is sugary, um, very, very fruity sweet. I mean, it's delicious if you've got a sweet tooth. Lots and lots of, of, of chocolate. I mean, seriously, lots of chocolate. It's, it's, lo it's like a very, very, Intense. It's like you've made oh boy, and then you've added two or three spoonfuls of brown sugar. Is it that much, sugar. really? You know, you know, it's almost like crunchy. You know, yeah. like when it, it doesn't even dissolve in the liquid. Yeah. Um, there, I don't know how much sugar there is left in this beer. Try some. But it, I'll, it's I'll do it absolutely. Later. It is absolutely. Look at. Can you see it sticking? Can you see the whole? Mm. Look at it. It's. I mean, it's it, crystalline then. It, 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 it is actually still in there. There's sugars. There's, there's a ton of sugar still in this beer. Interesting. So it hasn't actually been eaten up by the yeast. And what was the alcohol content on this one? 12.5. Uh, you just don't know there. It's just so decadent and so sticky and toffee and, you know, a little toffee apple sort of action there as well, definitely. Uh, the Belgium side of the business, yeah, it's there, I'm definitely getting that, but it's not overtly Belgium. And Belgium, for a lot of people, Belgian beers are actually quite difficult to get to grips with and quite difficult to love. 
Um, but I wouldn't exactly, I wouldn't post this as a, as, as a Belgian beer, to be honest with you. I don't get so much of that. It's just a very heavy, sweet, chocolatey imperial style. And for that, it's absolutely fantastic. Rating, Trev? Go on. Well, it, I mean, to me, it has to, I'd leave it a few years, to be honest with you. Because right now, this is so sweet, um, I'm struggling with it, you know, to, to drink a lot of it. Um, I would say, uh, I'm going to give it two ratings, because we can, can't we? Because it's my birthday yesterday, tomorrow, and I'm in America. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to give it two ratings. I'm going to give it today's rating, um, and I'm going to give it a rating uh, for ageability, yeah? Uh, my today's rating is going to be 3.9, okay? And my ageability will be 4.9. Three. Okay. 4.2, 4.3, something like that. So, excellent beer, of course. Brewdog have done it again in that respect. Um, but I just think it's just so amazingly sweet right now. You should really just have it in a, as a very small little sort of nip um, at the end of a meal. But again, interesting stuff. Coconuts, though, not quite getting the coconut thing at all. No, not getting the coconuts, Trevor. But anyway, listen. That was great. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed not really being here, but being here. How, how is America? Is it all right? America's fantastic right now. And it's, it's California, so you're going to have lovely weather, isn't it? It's been a hell of a flight. No, weather's awful. Really? Yeah, I checked online, at, you know, that wonder underland, whatever the hell it, it is. It never rains in Southern California. It is slashing it down. It's I've heard the song. It's 12 degrees and it's, and it's rain. Really? Apparently. All the time I'm there. But you know okay. what, Trev? The good news is, never rains in bars. Ever. All right. So we're all right. Okay then, everyone. Um, uh, hopefully, the next time you, you hear from me, I will obviously be back from the United States, or maybe not, Trev. Uh, but I will certainly be a little bit older. So you mean, if you, mean if you don't manage to get out? Yeah, <laughs> still get in. <laughs> anyway, go on, go on until next time. Cheers and beers.